he was always a very curious kid, always curious and active from day one. He grew up in a small town in Colorado and it was very Mayberry, so everybody knew everybody and it was very safe. So 90% of the time he was down at the firehouse playing with everything at the fire station from the trucks to putting on the uniforms and always riding his bike and running and staying out as late as he possibly could without getting in trouble. <laughs> He's just persevering through the whole thing. And I think one of the things I admire most about him is his desire to know exactly what's going on, exactly what's coming next. Like with the rotation plasty, he decided that. It, that was one of the harder choices to make because of the cosmetic factor. Obviously it looks a lot different, but he said it doesn't matter if it looks different. If I can't run, I don't need a leg. <laughs> so, so he decided on that all on his own. It was a hard decision, but uh, it was the only one I could run on. Uh, running is, was one of my big things before this. Uh, so I can't wait to get to do that again. We build Legos a lot together. He's just been there to help me. Like the night before surgery, I had to call him because I it's really anxious, I mean, big surgery, but he calmed me down a lot. Just before surgery, he was at a 10 on anxiety. I mean, obviously. And then he was like, do you think that Justin and I can talk for a little bit? And I was like, probably, let me reach out. And Justin was like, yeah, of course. And so they were able to video chat in the hotel room, you know, just hours before he had to go in for surgery. And after that, his anxiety went down immensely and he was able to sleep through the night and be ready for his surgery the next morning. It was the first day that we met in person. I was very excited. <laughs> Were you surprised? Yeah. Oh, good. <laughs> yeah, I was really happy to see you here. Hey. <laughs> Hi, David. Good how are you? Good, how are you? When I was taking him over to that section of the room, um, he looked behind him and I was like, don't look. And he's like, oh, is it Justin? I saw his eyes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> saw, I saw it. Uh, Just saw a quick flash of yeah. the eyes. Oh, yes. funny. It's good to see you. <laughs> it's been a huge relief to have somebody, for David to have an outlet that's not family and somebody that, that can relate. Justin's been there to a certain extent, so uh, he can relate, especially like the things that you don't see, like fear. And so it's just nice that he has somebody he can relate with. And it's felt really good walking by a room where he's talking with Justin in, and you listen in for a little bit, and you just hear how good of a mood he's in, and how open he is with him, and just won't stop. Like he's just talking a lot, and that might be on a day when he's been really quiet otherwise. So. It's just been a nice extra thing to have there to help him through his journey. He's very excited before he has a session with Cameron. His first session, I have pictures of him video chatting with Cameron and the smile on his face. It's you know, something we don't see too often during treatment. So it's nice to see the old David back for those few minutes. It's done a lot for my mood since the beginning of it. I was, I was scared, and I'm not as scared anymore. It's nice to have someone who understands what, it, what it's like. <laughs>